hey guys Ali Reza here and welcome back to another video so in this one we are going to quickly look at how we can modify the movement of our characters here as you can see I have changed the speed I also changed the jump velocity and also the gravity so it comes back towards the ground with much more speed compared to the default values in order to do this all you need to do is to go to your third person character and here you will have a character movement component this comes with all the character classes in your blueprints and using this you are able to control how your character moves here as you can see we have access to a lot of settings here you can define your character's movement general settings walking settings or jumping falling and a lot more so here let me put everything back to their default values and now you can see that everything is back to normal the first thing you can play with is the walk speed in your walking settings so here for example if we bump it up to something like this and now you can see that we are walking much faster another thing you can play with is the friction of the ground so here you can see that we have this ground friction value and for example if you put it on one you can see that we are able to slide on the ground let's put it back on the default value and go to the jumping settings so here we have this jump z velocity and if we bump this up to for example this value here you can see that we are able to jump much higher let's bump it up a little and also you can play with the gravity scale this is the force that will be applied to the character and this will uh, move our character towards the ground so if we put this on three and keep our jump z velocity on a high value we will be able to jump high but we also will be dragged back into the ground with much more speed so here as you can see it will look something like this let's put the gravity scale on 9 and also the jump z velocity on this value so we can see the effect easier yeah and that's it guys this is how you can control the movement of your character and as you can see there are a lot of settings here for different states so feel free to explore these values and you are able to do a lot with these in your projects thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel peace out